What's up everyone? Welcome to Finance with Tony. I'm Tony and here we are sharing some ideas about a frugal lifestyle. I'm a two times entrepreneur and entrepreneur and I decided to start this channel with uh, with an observation of my city where I live now uh, to, to make easier understand how my financial habits play on the ground here and on the background you can see on the background you can see uh, you can see the typical shopping mall here uh, that called uh, Royal Park feel free to check out my vi videos about this shopping mall um, and on, on my channel and I uh, at this in this video I this time around I just would like to elaborate some uh, municipal law uh, that uh, concerns about uh, um, about smoking uh, so uh, here is a shopping mall is a, tip, a typical one I mean if you've seen one you've seen a mall uh, and typical brands uh, and uh, according to municipal law you can smoke closer than 100 I believe meters uh, 100 meters from uh, from the building uh, the same uh, goes uh, for schools for uh, public buildings and so on uh, so uh, you, on the background you can see the typical place for smoking uh, like from gla cons uh, uh, glass constructed uh, uh, glass constructed uh, blue glass constructed uh, uh, building with flowers <laughs> like yeah and uh, so here's uh, some uh, shopping malls business centers housing and so on So basically, uh, also it says uh, it says of course that uh, you have to be uh, you have to be um, um, 18 years old or more, I, at, at least 18 years old, right? To to use this place, otherwise you you uh, you you can otherwise you can't legally smoke in Siberia. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, of course, it's uh, not set in the stone. It's not so strictly regulated, but anyway, uh, according, according to uh, uh, according to federal, actually, it's a federal laws. You, you, federal law, you, you can smoke uh, uh, because uh, uh, the full. Uh, there's some graffiti in the background. If you are my friend, you know I, I like some nice installation of graffitis in the urban uh, in the urban architecture. Uh, this one, I wouldn't say this one is really talented. Just I guess it's it's rather a little bit ghetto, but maybe it's better than. Uh, just concrete, uh, concrete color of, uh, of like uh, typical uh, Soviet fans, you know, with concrete color. And so uh, here is the uh, this uh, this shopping mall, old really old shopping mall called Europe, uh, and. Obviously, this name was taken too early, and right, uh, uh, right. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, in front of us, right in front of us, Kalinina Square. Uh, we will go to the Kalin to the Kalinina Square, and here's the. Transportation, public transportation, and so on. Uh, on the opposite side of the street, you can see the restaurant that called Kitchen. Uh, pretty obvious. It's spelled uh, in Russian, but it called Kitchen, and uh, English naming. Pretty common here. Uh, 
so. Street called Red Avenue on the, on the opposite by, side of the, the street you, you can see uh, the band that's called Ural Sip Band Ural, Ural Sip Band and also uh, I wouldn't be able to comment all of this uh, here's the fast food here is the vegetables, <laughs> quite the miscellaneous. Here is an out underground sta is an under uh, is a is an entrance to the underground station. And also check out this uh, digital screens in, in the center of uh, this square this place uh, this building in front of us uh, is a Soviet inheritance you know as it was built during the communist era that's called a book the, or the book the book <laughs> uh, this building because it, it has the shape of a book open book Here we go. So the subway co uh, the subway costs uh, like I believe 25 cents per per trip. I mean per ticket per ticket, and if you buy uh, some subscription, it will be uh, less expensive. Contactless payments available everywhere in Novosibirsk city, including fast food uh, uh, and including uh, including uh, subway stations, including par uh, uh, including public transportation system. And I pay I pay just uh, using uh, my iPhone. I mean uh, Apple Pay. Uh, without any tickets, uh, you can uh, to enter. You can just. Uh, Use your Here's a, some emergency car. It's this, yeah. So here's the digital screens and also another entrance to the to the to the subway station uh, this kind of subway station this subway station called Gagarinskaya uh, Zelsovskaya sorry this subway station uh, called Zelsovskaya my really noisy bikers this time around so the house the, the, when it comes to architecture you can see the typical Soviet architecture it's uh, the Stalin style or uh, social constructivism. Social constructivism, uh, a little bit more uh, nicer than uh, than uh, buildings uh, that belongs to the Khrushchev uh, Khrushchev uh, time frame. See this, uh, this, but yeah, it, it's some light landscaping in the in the middle of uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, place, uh, and also 
um, uh, on the background you can see one of the typical uh, candy shops that called Dudnik. Uh, Dudnik is a is a local is the local chain of candy shops uh, and uh, also maybe it's sort sort of mi mixed of candy shop and cafeteria. So. Well, I guess um, um, the uh, um, the better <laughs> the better uh, way to describe this place uh, is the miscellaneous types of uh, shops and restaurants and uh, shopping malls and so on uh, you can find here so and I I'll show you the typical casual dining that uh, I filmed for you before in one of the previous videos that called Spo spoons and forks and uh, I guess uh, it could be interesting. Uh, hopefully, it uh, it it could be uh, it will be interesting for you. So uh, here is a oh there is a another park to see, like gradient of uh, vegetables. Uh, no, but I mean it's really bizarre if you buy something in place like this. I mean you can go to the market, you can go to the grocery shops, uh, and so on. Uh, I mean uh, it's uh, there are so many ways. There are so many ways to buy <laughs> vegetables. Uh, I but it is what it is. I just show the truth. Uh, uh, so on the background you can see uh, one of the banks you know that called открытие or open opening <laughs> opening uh, if we translate this and you can barely hear the music i guess the drums let's uh, let's give our hands to the dirty business of uh, street musicians street drums here in the in the capital of Siberia. So uh, I can't uh, I can't describe. Unfortunately, I can't describe all types of shops here because I I can see uh, Vietnamese Vietnamese kid cuisine here. I can see the bakery, the floors. Uh, I mean uh, flowers. Uh, shop flower, flowers shop uh, and so on here's the street so sushi sushi days I mean it called sushi days is uh, one of the place and and on, in front of us you can see wooden constructed wooden constructed uh, exterior is uh, uh, forks and sh uh, forks and spoons I made the video before uh, about west side of uh, this, uh, of the no of Novosibirsk city and you you can check out the inner year of this place uh, the starting price price for lunch would be five dollars oh sorry it would be also like two and uh, two dollars fifty cents or uh, three uh, three dollars uh, per line uh, for for lunch uh, really rock bottom prices uh, and also typical meals uh, like uh, European uh, European cuisine mostly European cuisine but of course they have uh, um, uh, various choice of meals uh, different uh, uh, for different references and uh, it's really uh, cheap I guess uh, but uh, with, with a kind of moderate quality of course uh, so here's an, another uh, 
uh, another way to see. Oh, they, they call themselves uh, uh, Farmers, farmers uh, Cafe. Far I mean, uh, Forks and and. Thank mm -hmm. you.